Send one person around to the front and come right back immediately. Who wants to go? I'll go. Okay. <laughs> As you like spider walk your way to the <laughs> the front of the building. She does this just walking normally. Yeah. <laughs> Air biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> no, air biscuits are a different thing in the south. Um, so you, you you come around the corner. I'm gonna stay a little further behind, and I'm just gonna say to Bertrand in his mind, keep a close watch because I'm gonna be at a distance now. <laughs> Not a problem. Just let me know which direction you're going. Y- you know, mentally. Like I have to just think it. Just tell me mentally. Okay, okay. straight ahead. So, so, so you're staying at the. I'm going to stay out of sight Straight of them, and I'm just going to follow Bertrand's directions. But mentally. staying within mental contact with Bertrand, <laughs> which, which is like miles. I, I have, I can be like four Still miles. Oh. I got it, Bertrand. Can you hear you me? Yes, I can fucking hear you. Just, you know, made me cuss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Straight ahead. <laughs> Bearing right. At All the right. end of the road, turn round. Stuff with you. These feel like there are knives in them. God, I miss cartilage. I can talk to you. Look, I can talk to you for like three minutes max if you're out of my sight. So, so every once in a while, just. Make jump. Sure th- Here, look. I, I jump. Oh God. Ow. I, I got you. I got you. Just. Keep going. Jump! Bertrand! <laughs> Very <Dude>, right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Orem! Orem! How's it going? Do you want us to come inside? Come. Come. I thought the idea was to wait and see what happened. Well, we've been waiting for like five minutes and nothing is happening. It's really not that long. How? Should we continue to wait, or do you need assistance? Wait. I think I'm good. Um, how about you just freak me out if there's a problem? All right. He's fine. Did you ask him to open the door? Oh, I, well, I, I said to open the door, and he said to stay outside. He's, oh, if he's fine. You. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm taking that glucosamine. <laughs> <laughs> Action surge. <laughs> Pick up the double run. <laughs> Sixty feet high. That'll get you. We'll say uh, about there. <laughs> <laughs> this elevation's a bitch. <laughs> Twelve feet of elevation. <laughs> 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 Go for it. Roll for an attack. Uh, let's do. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'm doing a. Uh, I'm uh, a, a bit of the, the thing where you uh, reckless. Reckless. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. The thing where you where you hit. I'm doing uh, natural twenty. Yeah! Yeah! There are two now currently going after Laden over there. Uh, one roll is a six to hit. Hey. <laughs> Seven. To hit. Seven to hit. Yeah. Still. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I think it's a twenty. Yeah. Not a 20, and a dirty 20. So one of them kind of like, <laughs> it looks for an opening and can't find it, but while you're distracted and focusing on that one, the other one jumps up, grabs onto your back, and just goes <laughs> and starts tearing Ooh. into your shoulders. Your, uh, your happy reactions are the same as your <laughs> <laughs> you take five. You take five points of piercing damage. Yeah. <laughs> she likes it. So five points of piercing damage and eight points of necrotic damage. Oh god! As it begins to just tear into you. Fifteen total. Miss how much? Okay. Uh, this middle fingers must be. How much? Damage is your Yeah. Eight plus five, right? Yes, eight plus five, so thirteen. Okay, yes. And you don't see Dorian. You saw both Dorian and uh, Orem vanish into the, the the black magical mass, and you just hear sounds of movement in combat. Okay, here's a question. Yes. So with the Constrictor Snake, um, Constrictor Snakes have blind sight? Correct. <gasps> Girl! Yay! 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 That's a good druid right there. Let's go. Yes, Bless is gone, unfortunately. Bummer. No, good good looking out on that, too. So keeping it legitimate. 
Yum. <laughs> DM's pet. I wanna be DM's pet. <laughs> DM, DM, I love you. Snuggled and cuddled and close to you. Okay, yeah. You guys are on it. I'm so in love with all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, is that your turn on? Yes. Okay. Watch it. Watch it. The kids don't know. And if you would mind, I think there's a bit of a celebration to commence with this relationship. And for the first, ever since the, this hard, rigid uh, orc has met you in, within the, these chambers, there's a smile that curls across his lips, this is kind of a, a softness you weren't expecting, and he stands up. <clears throat> and everyone's like, oh, I can, he's like, this is my thing. <laughs> <laughs> and he turns around Gross. and comes back with, you see in his hands, this, this massive, Brown structure, this kind of rounded structure, and sits on the table. <laughs> After a long hiatus, I felt compelled to make a cake. So let us celebrate our partnership over a cake. And takes a little <laughs> knife and begins cutting slices out of it. This is amazing. A cake? Did you bake it yourself? I well, did, and I apologize if it's a bit more five. Not have a reason to make cake in some time. What kind of cake is it? Takes a slice. This is carrot. I hope you like carrot. I love it. It looks. It just looks brown. <laughs> but begins passing pieces across the table, and Evelyn begins helping pass them out. And just kind of, you see, there's like there's a sense of pride on its face as he Carrot's passes my them. Favorite. I'm more familiar with pie, but this looks wonderful. <laughs> It's like a heartier pie, if you want to think of it that way. Well done. Well done. That was fun. I had fun. I don't know. Yeah, that it... fun. That cake was delicious. It's <laughs> pretty dry. good. It was a bit dry. Yeah. 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 Learn. It felt a little strange eating the whole dinner with. Dan is just sitting on the table yeah. like that. But... <laughs> Dennis was taken and she was. <laughs> Yeah, this is, oh, was not really good enough for you. Yeah. <laughs> Eating the cake and just staring over at the body. No, no, no. no. Was, was very, sorry, I should have specified, <laughs> not part of the dinner experience mm -hmm. at all. <laughs> a little bit of moonlight that's peeking through the alley. It's obscured to your left. You suddenly sense someone standing there. And glance over, and you just see a silhouette. Do I recognize this? Make a perception check with disadvantage, you drunk asshole. Oh. <laughs> Guys, suck at perception. Check. Can't make out any any details. I put my hand on my rapier hilt. Mm -hmm. Draw myself up to my full height. Say, Gertrude, are you, uh, oh, I'm sorry, friend. May I, uh, can I help you? The figure takes a step closer. My, uh, my friend is, it's off around the corner. Can I be of some sort of uh, assistance? Takes another step closer. I draw my rapier. I think that's close enough. You sense this figure looking at you, and as they get closer to you, the the full height of your stance, you can tell the figure is a bit shorter than you. Cloak of hood maybe comes up to about your shoulders. <gasps> what did you say? Is it this dick? Is it the fucking door? Is it the door? Shorter. Why don't we have a conversation? <gasps> a little further in, and you see beneath the cloak there's a flash of metal as a familiar rapier glint hits the moonlight. Further in, where? 
points deeper into the alley. Okay, is there anyone with him, beyond him? No. The alley itself is maybe about eight feet from side to side, and they're kind of right in the center of it. And they're about three or four feet deep into it, and you're about ten feet deep. Oh, I... I think I'm fine. Right where I am. Seems I have you at a disadvantage, sir. Yeah. Sounds like a dice. <laughs> what could it be? In a sudden flash of quick movement, of unnatural speed, the cloak whisks, and you feel a twinge of burning pain in your chest as you look down at the hilt of the rapier that's now up against your chest. You take 12 points of piercing damage. <gasps> okay, okay. That's natural 20. No. <laughs> no. It is. Right there. As you glance down at it and kind of oh, cough for it, the blade withdraws again and goes this time into the abdomen, right up to the hilt, for 16 points of piercing damage. Bleeding in the alley. Your vision begins to blur. A coldness and a peace begins to come as the figure steps and blocks the moonlight and says, So Bertrand, how it is, huh? Good night. That's where we're gonna finish this episode. <laughs> as my as the vision fades, I just say Laptop. <laughs> 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 <laughs>